eSignatures is the new tool available in Landlord Vision. With eSignatures you can now have your documents electronically signed rather than emailing or posting the documents out and waiting a week for the documents to come back. eSignatures can be found throughout the software. You can either visit the eSignature tab under each area and click on Create Envelope or you can go directly to the relevant document under Property Manager, Document Manager or Tenant Manager. In this example we are going to set up and send a tenancy document. Either hover the mouse pointer over the relevant PDF document and choose eSign document from the cog menu or tick the checkbox next to the PDF documents that you wish to sign Choose eSign selected documents and click on Submit. The Create Envelope wizard opens and because you've come via the Tenant Documents area, it already displays the document you wish to have signed. However, you can add additional documents if you need to. Once you've selected all of the relevant documents, click on Next to enter the envelope details. If you want to prevent the document from being opened by anyone but the recipient, you can do so by ticking the Password Protect box. The password will be sent to the recipient in the same email as the document download link. Now choose the folder that you would like the signed documents to be saved to or create a new one. Here you can assign the signed documents to a property or tenant when necessary. Clicking on Next takes you through to the third step of the wizard. Here you can choose the parties who will be required to sign the documents, for example joint tenants or guarantors along with a message or instruction. If there is more than one recipient, for example it is a joint tenancy, click on Add Party and enter their details. If any of the recipients are not required to sign the document and are simply receiving a copy for reference, Choose the Copy Only option under Party Role. The order in which the parties are listed will be used to determine who receives the envelope first. Once the first party has signed the document, the envelope will be automatically sent to the next party in the list and so on until all the parties have signed the document. If you wish to change the order, simply click on the right hand side and drag and drop the party details in the order that you want them to go in. To remove a party, simply click on the icon on the right. Once you are happy with the information on this screen, click on Next. The final screen of the wizard allows you to position the signable fields on your document. Please ensure that there is at least a signature field for each party in the document. Once done, you can either save a copy and come back to it later or send the envelope now. After it has been sent, the status of the email can be seen under the eSignatures tab. When the recipient receives the email, they will then be expected to sign the document electronically. If the document is password protected, they will find the password at the bottom of the email. If the recipient has reviewed the document and is happy to proceed, then they simply click on Next Signature and add their signature to the document. Finally, they need to click on Submit Document. Once all the recipients have signed it, back in Landlord Vision the status will have changed to Completed and you will now be able to download the document. If you scroll to the end of your document, you will see that an additional page has been added. This page is important as it shows the document and party fingerprints and also the audit history log with party actions and IP addresses. For more information on e-signatures, please see our knowledge base under Help. Thank you for watching this tutorial.